Hi, I'm Billy Jacobs. I'm a country folk artist here in the village of Navarre, Ohio. Ever since I was a kid, I knew I had some creative talent and I knew I want, that's what I wanted to do for a living. I wanted to use the talents that God had given me in some way or another to make a full-time living. There were some popular folk artists that were doing well and I thought, uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. I went through a bunch of photographs that I'd taken of rural countryside way back in the 70s. Picked out a few that I thought would make good paintings. I painted one picture, it's a very primitive, folky look. Uh, since then, my painting style has evolved several times. And about seven years ago is when I started doing the watercolor landscapes. I was being able to use my creativity and I was making pretty decent money at it. Some people suggested that uh, that's what I should be doing for a living and not working in a factory. And so I decided to take the leap, quit my job, and haven't looked back since. One of the paintings that comes to mind was Grandma's house. I was very, very close to my grandmother. I had this vision in my head of an old white farmhouse, big tree with a tire swing, picket fence. So I got in my car and headed out to the country and drove around and went past a spot that had all of the elements that was in my vision. I wasn't real happy with the house that was there, but everything else was there. The picket fence, the big tree with the tire swing. And I thought, that's great. And I, I took several pictures of that and then drove around till I found a house that I thought fit the concept better. It, it just seemed peaceful, calm. It was just, there was, there was just a gentleness about that country area that just stuck with me. I live uh, right next door to my gallery in a little blue house that uh, used to be Abigail's Tea Room. Right next to the little blue house was what is now my art gallery. There's a uh, brick tavern house built back in the 1840s. Uh, it has a lot of history. Ulysses S. Grant stayed here. William McKinley stayed here. It was an integral part of the uh, Underground Railroad. Some of the other folks in town said, you should uh, open up a gallery or a gift shop or something there. And two and a half years ago, we uh, opened the doors and we've been growing ever since. I love it. It's very convenient being right next door. <laughs> being able to connect with people that buy my art, hear some of their stories, it's just incredible. Uh, God blessed me with an ability that oftentimes boggles my own mind. That's <laughs> uh, definitely God has His hand in it. It's uh, it's been a long journey uh, from working in a plastics factory to where I am now, and all of the people that I've met over the last several years, and friendships that I've made, and uh, people that appreciate what I do and the fact that I can do it for a living is, is just it's, it's phenomenal. It's the best. I look forward to seeing you at the store here, Billy Jacobs Art Gallery, and uh, if not, uh, visit our website, uh, billyjacobs.com.